Well, six investigates first raised the concerns about the campus location in a potential Navy crash zone way back in October. And that's when Navy officials confirmed they had recommended against the building of the new school on that land. Investigative reporter Jessica Savage continues our team coverage. She tells us how this land controversy played out over the past few months. Today's decision makes sense when you see this map. You're looking at the Navy's accident potential zone area around Cabinus Airfield, and right here is the site of the new Mary Carroll High School on the corner of Castores and Saratoga. And you can see very clearly that it's not in one of these crash zones. However, farther down Saratoga is the location of the old site, and you can see quite clearly that it is in one of those crash zones, which is part of the reason that led up to today's decision. This all began back in October when CCISD put up this banner along Saratoga Boulevard near Weber Road. It revealed the site of the new Mary Carroll High School campus, but for the South Texas Military Facilities Task Force, that banner signaled a red flag. Wanted to meet with the school board, the president and the superintendent, to make sure that they really understood what the problem was. The problem was that location for the new high school was in a crash zone for the Navy's nearby cabinous airfield. It's an area the Navy calls an accident potential zone, an area where a plane is most likely to crash if something were to go wrong. Got that letter from Captain Brock and having concerns about the location of it, then we got involved. That letter is what the Navy sent CCISD back in March of 2018 to recommend that the school not be built there. And when CCISD announced the location, Guzman said the task force began working behind the scenes and they asked the school district to reconsider. Today, that work paid off. We're, we're glad that, that it happened and, and hopefully now they can start to they can start with the construction plans and, and keep it going. And the Jessica Savage, Six Investigates.